Hey my loves, how are you doing today? I hope you guys are doing so well. I know I am. And I'm so glad that you're here joining me on Soul Child ASMR. I hope you like this video. I hope it relaxes you and gives you peace and calm as ASMR does for me. And I hope you come back and like and subscribe and leave a comment if you wish as I try to get back to all who comments on my videos. I recently got this magazine or I guess um, promotional pamphlet brochure in the mail and I am a huge fan of home decor especially pieces inspired by items from around the world, ethnic pieces in particular, but I love home decor and I always hold on to these just to see how I may want to furnish my space, a room, my house, or just even for inspiration. This one in particular is called Perigold, the destination for a luxury home. I've never been familiar with this brand until we moved in, into this house. I don't know if my husband signed up for it, or maybe they started sending it to him because he purchased the house. I'm, I'm not too sure, but we started getting them, and I'm glad we did because I love the stuff that they put in here. In the front, they're featuring um, this. Now, this is a little bit much for me, but it's a bathroom. And it looks like it's wallpaper with the gold mirror. But this wallpaper even on the outside. Or around the corner of that tuck-in. It's so funny because I'm looking at this candle and I think I know this candle brand. I think this is Lafco. <laughs> that candle right there. If you guys know Lafco, tell me if that looks like a Lafco vessel. Something tell me it is. It says, life's too short for ordinary. I agree. Unlock extraordinary. Personalize your home's point of view, indoors and outdoors. With informed design ideas, creative styling tips, and inspirational stories for renewed spaces that speak to you. Welcome to the destination for luxury. Now, this is luxury. This is not my style. But if I went to a hotel that has this, like I feel it's European. Thinking like um, in Paris, that you come into a hotel and you may see something like this. How about that for a water faucet? This duck or dove bending over, wings up in the air. I mean, that is definitely different. Not something I want to see every day, but absolutely in a hotel, I would go for that. Okay, now this is my style all day long. Singular Sanctuary. We built a pool in our backyard and because of the layout of our backyard and maybe the next video I'll take you guys out there um, the layout of our backyard we could not do a rectangular pool which is what I wanted like a long rectangular pool because our backyard slopes up so we had to do like an oblong shaped pool it's still beautiful but I really wanted like that resort hotel where, and you see this a lot in South Beach, where there's a long rectangular pool, lots of white furniture, white um, pool beds. You also have your light browns, your um, what's like a wicker, I don't know if it's wicker material for the, the beds. It's pretty much what's shown here. But Bali, if I had to 
give it a name. It's very Balinese, this type of decor. I love that, especially against the green and palm trees, which we have. It's so beautiful. So it says, designer Angela Harris transformed her Harbor Island Bahamas vacation home into a deeply personal retreat which every home really should be a retreat. I don't care how small or large your home is. It should always feel like a retreat to you. And if it doesn't, do whatever you must, even if it's a little space carved out for yourself to make it feel like your personal sanctuary. I really believe that does something for your mental. So it says, see how she created a seaside, seaside refuge centered on connectivity that lives up to its name at ease. Now this is still part of her Bahamian home. I love the cool colors in this. I mean, you know, when you live on an island, sometimes it the pieces don't have to be so obvious, right? It doesn't have to be all about turquoise and the green and the blues. Sometimes it can just be the simple, like the white with the tans. And maybe in the print, the print can show the coral rather than having something coral colored. It doesn't have to be so loud and obvious. And I like what she did here. Um, even with the shell pieces, on here the decor and I think she has the coral there you go the white coral if you guys can see that's kind of hard but the white coral decor items so it still gives an island feel a beachy flair but not in your face beachy now this is in your face beachy <laughs> especially the wallpaper and it still works. It still works very well. I prefer what she did here was to put it in a room where the room can be more vibrant, more bold, but then have a neutral feel for the living area as it pertains. It's, it's an even balance. I think most would adore um, the bigger space to be welcoming to many tastes, whereas the room is very particular for a certain person. And now, this, now this is interesting. This is her outdoor kitchen by the pool, but the fridge, it says in the pink, and this is bubblegum pink, the iconic fridge's pop of color plays off of Harris's favorite hue and the island's pink sand beach. So remember, she's in Bahama. Now that's the fridge for outdoors. You know, and I, I'm not a fan of the color pink. I've never have been, but, and this is again, not really like me per se, but I can definitely dig it. I like that pop of color outside um, amongst everything else. So that's pretty neat. I'm loving the chandeliers. Let's get back to that. So again, I think if I had to choose, I think that's the decor, the type of items like i used to be very contemporary but i think now i don't want necessarily this grandiose house i still like a two-story house just because we have kids and sometimes i just don't want everybody huddled on one level like go to your room up there and not down you know the hall um but it doesn't necessarily have to be a big house what i am more into now is a very balinesian style if I said that right. Um, so having the chandeliers like that, the light fixtures, you know, having the stools outside, lots of whites, lots of tans, um, lots of teak wood creams, you know, very boho, but accentuated with green from nature. So from plants, not necessarily green furniture or green paint, but from plants, indoor and outdoor and having um like a pool with that light blue bottom i've been into that a lot lately something very breezy 
where your living space opens out to your backyard. So having like accordion style doors that completely open. They have the accordion ones or the, I like the pocket ones better than the accordion. So I don't know if you guys seen that where you have a sliding glass door, but it slides into a pocket and then slides into another pocket and slides into like the wall and it fully opens. Your living space is now one with your outdoor space. Granted, you got to worry about mosquitoes and flies and all that, but um, it's great for entertaining. So this says materials matter. Just some other furniture pieces. And these are some other outdoor and indoor. So you have um, a table, you have an indoor lamp, but you also have an outdoor pool table, I mean pool chair, and some other seating. And that is teak wood. That's that brown that I was talking about. And your wovens. Now I like these also. And your swing chair. I have a hammock outside. I love my hammock. I actually got it when we were on honeymoon 15 years ago. And never ever put it up until we moved into this house. So... But I love it. I lay in that thing like no other. If the weather is good, I'm in there. Modern by nature. Now, this is what I used to be. Modern and contemporary. And I still love it. I still love it. But I don't know if I love it as much as I do the other style. This is pretty cool. Because is this... And this might be a padding, but it looks like that. It looks like river rocks. You know, the black river rocks. That's what that looks like. I really like that. And I like the pieces on the wall. That's different. Love this foyer table. Oh, I love that foyer table. I like the shape. See, that's the type of different I like. Because you're not going to go into someone else's house and see something like this. Chances you're not. Um... You know, and really to make that happen, you're not going to be shopping at like home goods or places that are commonly accessible to everyone else if you want a standout piece. I mean, you can still get standout pieces in there, but you might come across someone that may have it. But if you want to feel like no one else has this, when really they do, but I want to feel like no one else really has this, I want my home to look different, then you've got to shop differently and go to places that are not really accessible to the majority. I like this uh, stool bench action. Is this the bathroom? That is the bathroom. That sink <laughs> right here. That is a sink. There's your faucet and the mirror. That did not look like a bathroom. So I'm guessing, I don't know if that's for decor or to sit. That did not look like a bathroom though. And the wallpaper, you know, that's for someone that is like loud in their house. They really want to express themselves in their house. Types of wallpaper, paint color, decor pieces. So it says scene. Noted. Noted. Luminary Women in Design. We have Patricia Urquila, the Trailblazer. And you have Patty Carpenter, the Meaningful Mentor, as well as Alexa Hampton, the Legacy Leader. Timeless innovation. This is a uh, woven is this carpet or fabric. I like this. This is very nice. Timeless innovation. For almost half a century, Bokhara Rug Company has led the industry with an unwavering commitment to age old artisanship and contemporary creativity. The result? 
timeless pieces that are designed for today. Century-old weaving techniques passed down through generations and heritage materials like New Zealand's esteemed wool are reinvigorated with award-winning designs that have earned acclaim for their innovation. Cherishing tradition, the company is equally committed to sustainability and a minimized environmental footprint. Again, this is Bukhara Rug Company. And now we have ooh, Vietri, irresistibly Italian. And this speaks Tuscany. You know, where you have the lemon trees throughout um, outdoor Tuscan brunches during in the vineyards. This is beautiful. Look at the details on that. You know, if color's your thing, but this is like very spring. Like get out, have some bruschetta, have some limoncello. I love that. Now we have Von Dom. Von Dom. The Posidonia collection, named for the plant life that protects the ecosystem of the Mediterranean Sea, exudes serenity and balance. Made from thermal lacquered aluminum and recyclable high pressure laminate, Poseidon, well, Posidonia is environmentally conscious and aesthetically conceived. Open up more open living spaces. I love, love, and it's pretty much a requirement that I have an open living concept home. I don't want to feel closed off. I love to entertain, love to have friends over. The kitchen needs to become one with the living space. And that's what they did here. Love. Okay, this is what I was talking about, the type of home I'm loving. I was about to say I love the ottomans in this photo, but then my eye went to the chair and absolutely love the chair, but then my eye went to this sculpture, this lightweight resin sculpture. Everything about this, airy, breezy, warm, not too warm, still inviting, still has personality. I'm going to show you guys. And not to mention the ceiling with the, uh, they're not wooden beams, but there's still like wood on the ceiling. So picking up some more of the brown. So initially I was drawn to these ottomans here and the color of these ottomans. Then I went to this chair and I was like, oh, I love this shape, the structure, right? Very artisan. But then I went to the sculpture. Let me read to you about the sculpture. Cast in lightweight resin, this sculpture also doubles as a place to perch, indoors and out. I would put this indoor, I would put this outdoors, I mean everything about this. And then, and then, like I mentioned, you have that pop of green coming from plants. Not paint, not furniture, but, fur, but from plants. I mean, this room could even hold a bigger plant somewhere, right? Like an olive tree? The indoor olive tree. I love everything about this room. So imagine that room having those pocket windows, like I was saying, pocket glass doors where it just opens out to your backyard where there is a pool and you have like a gazebo, very white, very um, like there's coral. Then you have your teak wood furnishings and you know some more greenery palm trees on the side maybe a little garden i am here for it all right so now we have juliska's juliska's now this is pretty for a tea party a Garden party concept, um, girls' brunch. Look at the printing on that. 
So you have your plate, your serving plate, but then look at this one on the bottom. That's different. I love that. I love that. That's very garden party-esque vibes. Pink blossoms, verdant greens, balmy blues. The Newville Seville collection concerns the city's hand-painted tiles and the colors of the Spanish countryside. Designed to be layered or to stand alone, the whimsical floral motif against bright white is at once enli enlivening and calming, refined and pastoral. So the brand is Julisca, and again, it's the new Villa Seville collection. The Villa Seville collection. And we have my talk, believe the bedding. The perfect pairing of 500 thread count, ultra smooth, purple, and lustrous sateen. I've heard of this brand before. Mal talk. They're known for their bedding, their sheets. Stripes, stripes, stripes. You have some black and white stripes against brown. Very luxurious, very bold. I feel like you see this a lot um, in those very large homes in LA County, in Beverly Hills. I feel like, like this is something you would probably see over there. Oh yeah, I feel like this is definitely Beverly Hills to some degree at least. And that's a little busy for my take. It's still very nice. It's just the stripes is messing with my eyes, to be honest. And that doesn't help either. But you may like it. And that is perfectly fine. So it says, be true to your stripes. Minimal, maximal or somewhere in between. I'm going to say this is more the maximal. For me, at least. And summer classics. Now this, I feel like I would see this in Georgia, in those bigger homes in Georgia. This type of design for the outdoor. You know, once you walk out, very simple, but very nice, very calming. It's nothing's too loud about it. I think this would go with many people's um, personal taste. With a fresh take on mid-century design, this is... Guys, I promise you, I did not read this before. I just mentioned Georgia, right? The Savannah, Savannah, Georgia. The Savannah collection defines luxury outdoor furniture. Natural teak accentuates the woven chevron pattern and singular shape of the lounge chair sofa. The effect, innovative timelessness. Yeah, it's definitely timeless. It is definitely timeless. And we're almost wrapping up. This is designer brief Charlotte Moss. So this is Miss Charlotte Moss right here. Miss Moss lounging out with her little doggy on the couch. Okay, so I'm just going to automatically assume she's a maximalist. So let's see what it says about Miss Moss. So um, ever since she opened a namesake antiques boutique on the ground level of the Greenwich Village townhouse in 1986, Charlotte Moss has epitomized effortless elegance. Having garnered a storied roster of design clients and an impressive list of awards and honors, she has authored a dozen deeply influential lifestyle books, including A Passion for Detail, A Flair for Living, and most recently, Charlotte Moss Flowers. So these are some of the rooms that she's decorated. And like I said, a maximalist. Here's another. And one more. So 
so for her table setting, it says, how do you define effortless elegance? Elegance is relative. It is a result of effort, even if that's effort in the thought process. I take a relaxed approach to the things people think of as formal. It doesn't look stead or stiff. There's a livable, livable quality, something that makes you drop your shoulders. You just want to be there. All right, Miss Moss. And at the end, the last page, this is nice, 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 nice. I mean, with a view like that, why would you ever want to come inside? So this is a lounge chair, as well as outdoor floating lights that's in the pool. And you have an outdoor rocking chair, accent pillow, area rug. So here's that floating light in the pool. That makes for good parties. If you have a party in your backyard, um, like the sun is going down, you have and you have a pool, and you have those lights in the pool, it just really like does something extra for it. You know, just a little pop of flair or pop of pizzazz um, as you're walking around or dancing around, you know, the pool or whatnot. So I love that. So again, I love just collecting a whole bunch of these. Um, a whole bunch of these um, home decor magazines, furniture magazines, and just, you know, holding on to them, see if my style changes, and things that I can use for inspiration in my own home as I hunt for those you know, little pieces to add to each room. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope again that you find your peace and your sanctuary in your home, your own home. Make it your own. If it's that one little piece, light a candle, find a corner, whatever that space is for you. For me, it's my backyard, especially when the weather is good like today. I just love to hang out there. I have my breakfast there. I'll have my lunch before I pick up the kids. Um, the weekends, I'm out there the whole day. You know, as long as the weather is good, like what we're having now, the outdoor seems to be my backyard seems to be my personal oasis, my personal sanctuary. I've meditated out there. I prayed out there. I've fallen asleep out there. Um, you know, it's, it's the space that I claimed for myself in my home. <laughs> but I think um, for everyone, you know, it could even be in your closet. Whatever it is, just find that space for you. Whatever it is that brings you that peace. And even if it means find a little small decor item or what, what it, whatever it is, you know, a candle, some incense, get it. It's for you. Make it your own space and enjoy every bit of it. You deserve it. Bye guys for now. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye loves.